Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're working on our 2017 Corvette Grand Sports and in our last video we did an oil change and we noticed that the belt tensioner, which has this little shock absorber, was leaking oil really bad. So in today's video we're going to show you how to replace this and we'll link all the part numbers in the description below. Okay, so the first step is to remove this shroud. Uh, it's held on with four seven millimeter bolts. There's one on each side and two in the middle. Next up, we'll want to remove the intake piping here. So we'll loosen two hose clamps. And we'll remove this vacuum hose, which you just pinch the gray part and it should pull right off. And we should be able to work this intake hose off now. There we go. All right, so next up, we'll remove the belt. I've got a 15 millimeter socket on the belt tensioner. So we'll go ahead and unload the tension on the belt tensioner. And then I'll work the belt off of the alternator pulley up here. the tension back. And we should be able to unwind the belt off of all these pulleys and pull it out. So there we go. And we'll be replacing this belt as well. Okay, so there are two bolts holding this tensioner on. The top bolt is right here. It's also a 15 millimeter. We'll go ahead and break that loose. Okay. Can't quite pull the bolt out because of the steering rack here. And then next up, there is a bottom bolt uh, that might actually be a little bit easier to get at from the bottom of the car. So we'll show you that next. Okay, so here is the bottom bolt that holds the tensioner on. It's a 13 millimeter, and it's easiest to get at with just a regular end wrench. So we'll go ahead and loosen that up. Both bolts are moved. We should be able to just pull the tensioner out. And here you can see how greasy this old shock absorber was. Uh, and this is because it was leaking, so that's why we're replacing it. Okay, so here's a look at our new tensioner again. Obviously we're reusing the old bolts. I've already fed them through the holes. We'll feed this down into the engine bay here. See if I can get this top bolt started. Okay, so we've got the top bolt started here, and then I'll make my way underneath and we'll get the bottom bolt started. Alright, so here's our bottom bolt. Get that one started. We'll use our 15 millimeter ratchet, which doesn't fit. So we'll use our hand to thread this in a little bit. And then we'll use our 15 millimeter ratchet. Which is still slower than our hand. So we'll go back to our hand. Okay, 
So we've got our torque wrench here. This top bolt should be torqued to 43 foot-pounds. And then the bottom bolt will be torqued to 16 foot-pounds. All right, so we cannot get a torque wrench on this bottom bolt. Uh, like I said, it's supposed to be 16 foot-pounds, but we're just gonna have to do it by feel here with the little end wrench. So 16 foot-pounds is gonna be pretty snug with a little short wrench like this. All right, I like that. We've got a brand new belt, it's an AC Delco belt. Again, we'll link this part number in the description below. And the belt routing is pretty straightforward. We'll show a picture now. Okay, so we've got the belt routed around all of the pulleys except for the alternator up here by my hand. So we'll go ahead and compress the tensioner pulley and it should give us just enough slack to get it around the alternator. There we go, easy as that. Next up, we'll reinstall our intake piping. There we go. And tighten up the hose clamps. Reconnect our vacuum hose. Last but not least, we will reinstall our shroud. Okay, all done. All right guys, if you enjoyed that content, please do like and subscribe.